Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we are learning about Railway.app. There's so much to discuss about this platform, but to boil it down for you, you could say that it just works. To test it out, I will deploy one of my favorite frameworks, Astro.build. Be sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel as things are about to build up. But first of all, what is Railway? To put it simply, it is a hosting platform, or what I like to call a boutique cloud provider. It checks all the boxes. The CLI is awesome and super simple to use, the free tier is generous, and best of all, the GitHub integration is on point. So how exactly does it work? Railway does a great work of abstracting all that is needed to deploy most types of workloads. This is achieved by using Nixpack. To put it simply, Nixpacks are a technology that will scan your code base and try to figure out which framework you are using. It will then proceed to build a Docker image to run your project, which will get deployed to the Railway Cloud. When you connect a project locally or a GitHub repository, Railway will make use of Nixpacks, which they built and open source in order to deploy and build your project. That experience itself is really smooth, and generally things build pretty fast. This is an approach that reminded me of build pack at a Heroku, but much better, or also the Vercel build output API, which helps framework maintainers test the compatibility of their framework on a platform. There are also options for running cron jobs and databases, but now let's focus on actually deploying something. I'll be deploying the Astro Build Hello World website. There is a railway community template available, but it seems to be a dead link, so we'll actually be building it ourselves. First, let's create an Astro application. We'll call npm create Astro at latest to start with a blank canvas. We'll select most options as they are, since we simply want to focus on deploying this. This should take you a few seconds to run through and accept most of the settings as they are. Next comes the fun part. We've opened up the package.json and the newly built application, and what I see is that we have a build command. From reading the docs on Astro, I see that this will build all the assets and push them to the dist directory. The support for Docker files at Railway is great, so we'll use our own Docker file. We'll simply build it from the caddy image. Caddy is a super lightweight Go server. It is simpler to use than Nginx, so we'll have it serve our files. Next, we'll make sure we have Node.js and npm installed, and we'll copy over the package JSON files in order to run the install command directly in our container. The next steps simply consist of building the project and copying the build output into the SRV folder that Caddy will expose. Lastly, we just copy over the Caddy file, which will open up the port and act as a file server for us. With this done, let's actually connect this to Railway. I have already installed and connected the CLI to my account, but I will leave a link in the description for you to do so if you don't have. Do note, we could use the GitHub integration, but the CLI is so fast and simple that I want to showcase its usage. The first command we'll do is the init command, which will initialize a railway project inside our application folder. Then, simply, we'll call railway up. This will upload our files, build the image, and proceed to deploy on railway. This should take around one minute, and once we are done, we will call railway domain to assign a domain to this. This should take around 5 to 10 seconds to propagate properly. And then we just have to reset our domain and we see that we have a working Astro application. All in all, I can say that Railway is a great platform. The user experience and developer experience are great and the features are all you need for pretty much all of your projects. I hope you love this video and I'll see you in the next one.